Welcome to the Geoflow video series, Making Geothermal Easier. In this video, we'll be discussing the flush cart features and we'll also provide an overview of the valves and connections to the flush cart. Thank you for joining us. Safety should be your number one concern when using the flush cart. Let's take a look at some considerations. First off, I always use a grounded electrical outlet. The flush cart plug is equipped with a ground connection and is designed for a 15 amp breaker. Never attempt to disable the ground fault circuitry. Failure to observe safety precautions may result in fire, injury, or death. When using the flush cart, consider safety when handling antifreeze. Acceptable antifreezes are propylene glycol, ethanol, and methanol. Never handle or mix antifreeze in an enclosed space. Pure methanol and ethanol are extremely flammable and the fumes or vapors can ignite. Only use pre-mixed or non-flammable antifreeze with the flush cart. Use appropriate safety devices including eye protection. Failure to observe safety precautions may result in fire, injury, or death. Thank you for your attention. Okay, let's get started. This is the flush cart that we'll be using for our demonstration. The first feature we should talk about is the safety listing. This flush cart is currently the only flush cart on the market listed to UL standard 778. ETL is the listing agency. The flush cart is equipped with GFI protection, a waterproof on-off switch, and 20 foot of SJ cord for convenience. The Monroe LP series one and a half horsepower self-priming heavy-duty cast iron pump with brass impeller provides excellent performance for flushing ground loops. In fact, performance is better than a typical two horsepower pump used in other flush carts. The advantage of the horse and a half pump is that it's capable of operating on a 15 amp breaker at 115 volts. As you can see from the graph, the Monroe pump has the highest head on the market allowing the flush cart to purge air from most loops up to 10 to 12 3 quarter inch circuits if designed with reducing headers. Consult the online flushing calculator for your particular design. The flush cart has 2 inch connections between the tank and the pump suction. It also has a 1 and a half inch brass ball valve full port at the discharge of the pump. The flexible hose connection between the tank and the pump allows movement as the cart is being used or transported. The flush cart has a flow limiting device for some hydronic applications. It should be removed with a 3 8 inch drive socket wrench for ground loop applications. A specially designed hand truck with a central pump mounting point provides better balance and easier maneuverability when using the flush cart. The back plate protects the pump. Pneumatic tires are easier to use on the job site than hard rubber tires, especially if the conditions are muddy. The tank uses a 2 inch brass full port isolation valve. Also at this connection, is a half inch brass ball valve used for filling with a three quarter inch garden hose connection. The inch and a half brass full port ball valve at the discharge of the pump is the supply to the ground loop. Also at this connection is the half inch brass power drain valve with garden hose connection. Two drain ports ensure complete drainage when finished flushing the system. An inch and a half brass ball valve is provided for deadheading the system and regulating fluid returning from the ground loop. A half inch brass pump and dump valve with garden hose connection is also provided. The PT plug on the return piping allows pressure measurement during deadheading and power flushing.
Installing a pressure gauge on the discharge connection provides pressure drop across the ground loop. The inch and a half cam fittings allow easy connection to the flush cart hoses. The other end of the flush cart hose is a similar cam fitting with a one inch connection. It's used with an adapter for the flush cart to connect to the flow center. The ball valve on the hose helps reduce mess when disconnecting the hoses. The flush cart hoses are one and a half inch flexible reinforced hose. This type of material stays flexible at cold temperatures, has a tight bend radius, and it's not susceptible to kinks. 10 inch diameter tank about 40 inches tall has a sight tube that makes monitoring fluid level much easier with a flexible o-ring to mark fluid level during deadhead operation. The flush cart ships with a 100 micron filter to provide filtering during flushing. We'll talk about the 1 micron filter in the flushing video. Here's a picture of the return line with a T at the bottom of the connection, allowing air that comes back from the loop to easily disperse into the tank. Thank you for watching the GeoFlow video series. For more information, check out our website at www.geo-flo.com.